hello friends in the last lecture we have discussed the two treatment methods for the solid waste and these are nothing but the incineration and composting both these incineration and composting methods are the thermal methods where we are burning the waste solid waste with a high temperature in a closed conduit maybe in presence of oxygen or absence of oxygen but both methods were the thermal methods so these two methods their uh, advantages and disadvantages we have discussed these two methods we can use for the different type of material that is heterogeneous characteristics we can go for or basically non degradable hazardous biomedical waste type Uh, solid waste we can treat with the help of incineration and pyrolysis okay now we are going to concentrate towards the treatment to the solid waste which are having characteristic as a degradation or we can say naturally degradation with the help of microorganisms and these two methods are nothing but the landfilling and composting so both these methods will prepare as a end product as a manure and during decomposition process it will release the gases and these gases are nothing but the methane carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide etc so basically uh before we start the uh this sanitary landfilling i would like to explain you i would like to talk little about the landfilling what is mean by landfilling landfilling there are the different methods again or we can say there are different versions the first version is nothing but the open dumping so from last uh, uh, many years the people are collecting the solid waste and dumping into a open dump open pit and ignoring just ignoring so by natural method it is getting degraded after one and half year or one year and then we are using it for the as a agriculture uh, manure for the agricultural purpose that is nothing but the open dumping but as i told at the initial st state of this chapter that though you manage or provide the provision make a provision for the decomposition of organic waste material or not there is no matter it is going to be degraded as there is a biodegradable material in a open area also and what happens when it is getting degraded it releases the gases and these gases will create the environmental air pollution at the same time when it is getting decomposed there will be attraction of the mosquitoes and bacteria which will create again unhygienic environment so these are the that was the first version that is the dumping into a open pit and allow to decompose that is nothing but the open dumping so the next version to overcome these problems had come that is sanitary landfilling sanitary landfilling what is this sanitary landfilling how these are going to be overcome whatever the problem exists with the open dumping that we will see in the sanitary landfilling so we'll go with these slides sanitary landfills are sites where waste is isolated from the environment until it is safe it is considered when it is it has completely degraded biologically chemically and physically in high income countries the level of isolation achieved may be high sanitary landfill works by layering waste soil in a large hole in the ground that is lined with plastic and clay the waste is allowed to decompose and the linings help prevent contamination when landfills are full they are often capped and transformed into parks or natural areas so that is nothing but the sanitary landfill 
so sanitary landfill in a simple word i would like to tell you it is a oh, it will be a measured dimensional pit and in which you can uh, add or you can lay a plastic liner from the bottom side and then alternative layers of the solid waste and soil you can add so each layer first layer there will be a solid waste second layer there will be a soil each layer must be compressed by applying a pressure and then uh, it has to be completed till the earth surface so each layer you can go for around uh, 400 to 500 uh, centimeter and thickness and then it can be covered at the last it has to be covered with a soil and that uh, you can grow the vegetation above the this area above this landfill area but you cannot use this land for the construction purpose or the buildings purpose as there will be the um, uh, because we have dumped the solid waste organic waste and that is going to be degraded when the degradation process starts it is going to be reduce the volume of the material when the volume of material is getting reduced there will be a bumping at the same time there is a during the decomposition process there is a formation of emission of gases as i told you uh, during decomposition any kind of organic decomposition though it is aerobic or anaerobic there will be a emission of methane carbon dioxide and h2s gases so such a gases if gets formed during the decomposition process where to go it will bump it will crack the land and will come to the atmosphere if we have not pro made proper provision to collect the such types of gases also so that's why we cannot use that land for the construction purpose okay this is the first thing so the plastic liner from the bottom side we have added to avoid the percolation of leachate what is that leachate leachate is nothing but the liquid waste which is going to be formed during the decomposition of organic waste material so that leachate is having very high cod and if it is not being controlled with a plastic liner from the bottom side of that pit it will start mixing into the groundwater body and it will deteriorate the quality of groundwater so to prevent that groundwater pollution we have to be provided the plastic liner from the bottom side that is the that is nothing but the sanitary landfilling understood so this is the sanitary landfilling so the next version of this san uh, landfilling is nothing but the secured landfilling in a secured landfilling along with the plastic liner from the bottom side we can add two more uh, more uh, facilities in that that one pipe is to collect the leachate which is going to be generated at the bottom as a liquid waste and then you can treat to that liquid waste and then dispose that is the first thing and second thing uh, another uh, provision we have to go for that is for the ventilation to collect the gases which is going to be generate into the um, that particular pit here you can see the figure so the refuse is dumped into this particular pit a clay liner and plastic liner is provided at the bottom of the tank bottom of this pit it has been compacted entire waste is has been compacted and one pipe is provided through which you can see collected leachate is going to be disposed in another pit for the further treatment process okay and uh, the groundwater quality above the groundwater quality we should construct a such type of pit groundwater table we have to so construct such a water uh, landfilling pit and uh, for the uh, plastic liner and clay liner we have added at the bottom from the bottom side to avoid the percolation of leachate towards the groundwater table is it and uh, there is also provision is made to collect the gas which is going to be formed 
during the decomposition process okay so this figure you can draw you can understand how this is going to be performed landfilling process one more figure i will show you for better understanding so here you can see alternate layer of soil and al uh, waste has been made each layer is compressed you can see per properly and this compaction will help to reduce the requirement towards the land is it and this way you can dump for a longer period and allow to decompose naturally and then you can collect the gases which we can use as a re energy resource and the leachate whatever going to be formed as a waste product we have to treat it and then we can dispose it so this is about the sanitary landfilling and the secured landfilling a secured hazardous waste landfill must have two impermeable liners and leachate collection systems are you understanding the difference between the sanitary landfilling and secured landfilling both the methods are the controlled system for the decomposition of organic waste in a particular pit and in both the uh, uh, there will be provision has been made to decomp uh, dispose the solid waste in altern with alternate layers solid waste and soil and then compaction and then cover the ground uh, uh, surface and vegetation but mm, there is a difference between these two system in a sanitary landfilling we are not going to provide the mm, plastic liner or the impermeable liner we can say to avoid the percolation of leachate towards the ground and um, there is no provision for the leachate collection pipes and the gas collection pipes in the sanitary landfilling the main purpose of sanitary landfill is to ensure waste is safe by reducing the harm from accumulated waste and allowing safe decomposition the alternative layer of garbage and soil aids in hastening the decomposition San sanitary landfills are less hazardous to the environment open dumps are very hazardous to the environment why sanitary landfill is not a uh, less hazardous because it is a controlled decomposition there is a provision for the collection of gases leachate and uh, there is no open uh, Uh, emission of gases but in open dump there will be open emission of gases and in a sanitary landfilling at the end we are co covering entire solid waste with a soil so there is no contact with the there is no provision to have the contact between the mosquitoes bredi um, bacteria uh, with the solid waste so there will not be possibility to have the unhygienic environment whereby in a open dump there is a open access to the mosquitoes and bacteria for the uh, creating the unhygienic environment the whole process is carefully monitored thus preventing foul odor as a result pests are avoided so this is about the first uh, treatment method that is the sanitary landfilling and the another method we are going to discuss and that is nothing but the composting another method is the composting so let us see as i told you both these landfilling and composting both the methods are the provision of decomposition of organic waste material composting is the biological decomposition of organic waste such as food or plant material by bacteria fungi worms and other organisms under controlled aerobic conditions the end result of composting is an accumulation of partially decayed organic matter called humus process of composting requires making a heap of wet organic matter also called as a green waste so you can see here composting is also decomposition of organic waste material but in the landfilling what is the difference between I, i will try to explain you the difference between the composting process and the landfilling process 
in a compost landfilling that process will be a centralized process usually and outside the city there will be provision of a big uh, project for the decomposition of uh, for the dumping of waste material the basically fundamental aim is to dump the solid waste organic waste especially but in a composting we can uh, reutilize that material as a manure reutilize in a within a few days within a month or half one and half month so you can go for this kind of process at individual levels also the farmers can prepare their own composting farm and uh, firm and uh, they can create their own compost for their agricultural purpose so here you can in a composting such type of trenches which are shown in the figure such type of trenches you can excavate and dump the solid waste and cover with the so cover with the soil and then uh, you can spread some night soil liquid night soil or uh, then urine material for the you know, to increase the rate of decomposition and to keep the material moistened is it so we will see furthermore what is exactly composting it is the rapid biological decomposition of organic matter into an inorganic form available for plant uptake microorganisms turning organic matter into plant food and it is also called as the it is a nutrient cycling breeding of microorganisms or the worms this is my approach to compost our goal is composting to provide microorganisms with the food they need to thrive and thus the rapidly decompose organic materials while relate retaining the maximum amount of nitrogen in those materials there are the different methods for the preparation of compost and these methods are shown here the first one is the indoor method bangalore method nanted nanded method and coimbatore method so out of these four the popularly uh, there are two methods are being used in india and that is nothing but the indoor method and bangalore method so we will see what are these two methods so first we will discuss the bangalore method in the bangalore method of composting dry waste material of 25 cm thick is spread in a pit and a thick suspension of cow dung in water is sprinkled over for moistening a thin layer of dry waste is laid over the moistened layer the pit is filled <coughs> alternately with dry layers of material and cow dung suspension till it rises 0.5 meter above the ground level it is left exposed without covering of for 15 days it is given a turning plastered with wet mud and left undisturbed for about 5 months or till required and at the end when it is going to be on observed it will be converted into a rich manure and that we can use for the um, agricultural area if we uh, throw such type of waste in a open area in a agricultural area as it as if we are going to say that is going to be decomposed and it is going to be converted into a manure but it will take a lot of time and may create obstacle during the farming process so that's why separately it has to be converted into the compost and then you can apply as a nutrient so the uh, trash of sugar cane uh, trash material of the uh, wheat or uh, jowar etc that is going we are going to dump into the la agricultural land as it is but it takes a lot of time to get decomposed but if we will go to decompose that in a compost we will convert into compost in a controlled manner within a few months it will be decomposed first thing second thing it will not create any obstacle during the farming and third thing we can apply whenever we require that as a manure 
many of the farmers what they do they are go they burn the trashes and uh, remove that trashes from the farm so what is going to be uh, happen there it is the there is no uh, use of that burned material then why should burn it why should create the air pollution why should create increase the heat if you will go for composting such a way then it is going to be give you a big advantage okay next one is the indoor method we will discuss this indoor method in the indoor method of composting organic waste are sprayed in the cattle shed to serve as bedding urine soaked material along with the dung is removed every day and formed into a layer of about 15 cm thick at suitable site urine soaked earth scraped from cattle sheds is mixed with the water and sprinkled over the layer of waste twice or thrice a day it will create the moisture at the same time there are the microorganisms in such a material which will degrade the organic waste material with a faster rate a layering process continued for about a fortnight a thin layer of well decomposed compost is sprinkled over top and the heap given a turning and reform old compost acts as inoculum for decomposing the material the heap is left undisturbed for about a one month about a month then it is thoroughly moistened and given a turning the compost is ready for application in another month so this is the bangalore method or we can say this is the comparison of the methods the bangalore method requires longer time for stabilization of material and hence needs a larger load space the gases generated in this anaerobic process also cause smell and odor problems where the indoor method on the other hand stabilizes the material in shorter time and needs lesser land space as no odorous gases are generated in this process it is environment friendly and hence commonly preferred method out of these two are the indoor method do you understood the difference between these two bangalore bangalore method takes a lot of time is it and it is a anaerobic process and hence it is going to be pose smell and odor problems indoor method is the aerobic process and that completes within short shorter time as compared to the bangalore method and that's why indoor method is accepted mostly in india about the for the decomposition process or for the composting method so these are the two different methods we have studied about the uh, treatment to the solid waste for the organic solid waste okay so this is about the treatments to the solid waste thank you